Welcome to the Wonder Basement and I'm Susan with Steam Creatively. I'm Sherry with Sherry's Cards. I'm Tanya oh, with the Wonder Basement. Crud. I'm trying to share it, but <sighs> Hi Heather. How are you doing? Which Heather is it? John's. Hi Heather. Hi Heather. We have your box of stuff sitting behind us. I'll go to the post office tomorrow. Oh yeah. I've sent her so much stuff, and I still owe you one more. <laughs> I'm still gonna, I'm gonna order you the Daisy set. We're really when bad I can at math. Order that. I think you figured that out. <laughs> math is not our friends. Well, we had um, since we've been here, um, we've gone to a training event. Um, the Great Lakes region had a um, leadership event in Terre Haute over the weekend that Sherry and I attended. Um, Shannon West put it on, and it was fabulous. It was fabulous, and one of the funnest questions was why do they call it Haute? <laughs> no Haute. one knew. Yeah, no one knew why you called Terre Haute Terre Haute. We know <coughs> how to say it, but other people didn't. Um, and so what I, it, I'll do my little thing first. Um, I want to show you a few of the swaps from Saturday, so you kind of know um, what we did. But um, I used we did a little shoebox swap, and this is the um, set that I used. This is one of the new hostess sets, and girls, she's, she's adorable. So she's she so is so cute. cute. And that's the new tag punch. This is one of the new designer series papers. And then I took this ribbon and I dyed it. So the ribbon is dyed. So that what was color did you dye it? Um, I dyed it mint, and it kind of took on a blue cast. You know, I think it each ribbon is darker. Is your cardstock mint too? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The cardstock's mint. I That's think pretty. each one's going to die differently. Um, and Shannon had asked me to do um, a little presentation. And then she was giving gifts to those who had presented. And so this was my gift. It's so cute. It's really a cute little set. Look at that UPS um, It's going to be in the new catalog. Or FedEx it's, guy. Or yeah. You always deliver. It has some great little sayings. But um, I made a couple of little cards with it. And I'm going to show you. I probably shouldn't have said that. What I did. Well, UPS or FedEx or anything. I gave a so card. So this one um, is a fun little card. I did a little YouTube video on my Steam Creatively um, if you want a little more details um, about how I did it. But the cute little stampin' up there on that middle box is done from the new washi tape. But everything on here is new. The new punch. There's two new ribbons. The new stamp set. The new designer series paper. It's all new. So I have a question on that ribbon. I watched your video, but I was like working too. So on the ribbon on the bottom, do you have to pull, like is it? No, you don't have to pull the string out. So I haven't looked, I haven't unspooled mine. So is it, does it have, like is it? It's, it's, it's sewn it down. So, it's sewn down. Mm -hmm. It's sewn in. So if you choose not to do that, it I looks. I caught you pulling it off, but I didn't know if it, like you know when you buy a coat and it's stitched together? I yeah. didn't know if that's what yeah. you were doing. No, no it was actually Okay, have to. I see. It's designed. That makes sense now. See? It's designed, it'll go on just like that, but if you want to pull that string out, Here's then the washi. you can kind of fluff it up. Super cute. Yeah, it's really cute. Um, and then um, I loved this. So I used to, he's bringing a little sunshine, because who doesn't like a little sunshiny package? And again, all this is um, new stuff, new stamp sets. I color it with the blends. The new um, twine on the end is the new um, baker's twine, this stuff over here. So, um, super fun. He was great. And then the last one, one of the jokes was we um, broke off into groups um, during this event. And we talked about ways um, to help our sales and ways to do certain things. And so, the way to um, help our sales was to give away um, free puppies. Aww. So, this is my ode to what we did this weekend. And if you'll notice those fabulous little rhinestones Oh, on they're there. so pretty. They're the little the video doesn't rhinestones. Give them. So they're the little uh, they're ones. beautiful. Yeah. I mean, um, they look like gemstones. Oh, yeah. They're so pretty. The colors, colors are, so are pretty. pretty. Yeah. So I thought this was cute. And um, the little dog leans on that little box. And that little box looks like the new little boxes that we have that say Stampin' Up. So all of this coordinates really well together. Um, and I was just super excited to get this set. Thank you again, Shannon, for sharing. Okay. Done me. Okay. I'll, I'll go next. Um. What should I start with? I will show you after the um, event in Fort Wayne, you could stay and stamp if you wanted. So some of us did a shoebox swap. So these are some of the ones that we made. And this one, our friend 
Sandy. If you're watching Sandy Elliott, this was hers. It Sandy? was actually in Terre Haute. She just said Fort Wayne, but that's okay. They're kind of all the same. To yeah. Me. <laughs> <laughs> we were in Fort Wayne a week ago. They're not the same. If you're not, okay, this is Indiana for all of you that don't know our state. Here's Terre Haute. Here's Fort Wayne. Yeah. yeah. Here's Indianapolis. So, you know, we're in the middle. I don't know. Yeah. I'm still recovering from being sick. I feel a lot better, but the days either side, you know, Here. when you do stuff. You mean. You no, need to my chair's kind of making squeaky noises. <laughs> okay, you oh, there I go. Here. There you go. So, so you just hold it right there. Yeah. So it's on shimmery paper, and she watercolored it, and we just kind of stuck it together. We like when we do shoebox swaps like that. Mm -hmm. We still had some more questions about what shoebox swaps are. Um, maybe sometime we'll host another one around here, and if you're local to us, you can come, because they're super fun, and it's nice to stamp in styles that you don't stamp in. And everybody that stamps with us is such a good steamer. Yes, this this is one pretty. is from Christy Falk, and Christy did this one, and she used the steamer at us, and the colors oh, in it are lovely. Right <laughs> and there I am in stereo. <laughs> um, oh, Susan's watching. Um, so this one was really pretty. And then this one is Sue's Meadows. Sue's, are you watching? Hi, Sue. So it was the first time that we met her in real life, which is always fun because we get to see you guys on here, but we never actually see you. So this was the first time that we met somebody that we'd met online. And so it was fun to have her stamp with us. And it was, we like people who do a lot of the work and she had already stamped and embossed the backgrounds for us. So that was fun. Then this one was mine. And part of the reason I wanted to do that, sometimes so when you cute. do a shoebox swap, you don't take the um, big shot, which angle? Um, because it's a lot of work, but I wanted them to be able to run this through the big shot because it's so easy to use. And when you see it, you know, like Tanya has her horror stories of the snowflake. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> that was terrible. Where she about lost an arm due to using yeah. a die cut machine. I think I took that video down. It wasn't terribly <laughs> attractive or complimentary, so. But this one's really, really easy to use, and I wanted everybody to just use it. Yeah, they've it, gotten a lot better. It did leave... Um, a little bit of a mess or at the hotel, unfortunately, because it pokes out a lot of stuff. And the funny thing is, this one was my um, trade because we did trades, and my husband helped me make them. So funny, two funny stories with that. The first is when he was helping me, I told him how to do it because you know I had some experience at that point, and so the very first one he sends through, totally opposite of what I told him to do. <laughs> And so when it didn't work, he kind of looked at me funny, and I said, you didn't do it the way I said. And he said, well, you're supposed to do it this way, you know, being the expert die cutter that I he don't is. Know, should they see your face as you're telling the story? <laughs> I think you might want to see her face as she's telling so, the story. You know, he's really, Some really good, are good at die cutting. So then I made him redo it the way I said. He said, well, that works better. Like he was shocked. <laughs> and I said, well, yeah, I am kind of the expert at this, so listen to me. But then after he had done a few of them, and it does make a mess because all these things go everywhere. He said, you're not going to let people use this at our house, are you? He said, well, sorry, I, did. Yep. I am. Yep. Yep. So, and then this one, I just changed the color combination because I wanted to try it a little different. And she's it's pretty. She's popped up. So, can't get enough of the fairies looking at the wrong thing again. It's okay. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's adorable. And then, at the same this thing, I wasn't, I wasn't thinking that... Shannon brought a roll of the pressed petal washi tape, and if you haven't seen it in the catalog, it is literally a roll of pressed petals. The Which washi is tape. so cool. But you can't tell what it is in the picture. Like, yeah. everybody that we showed it to, no one realized that they were all individual petals. So I asked her if I could have a petal to make my fairy wings, and I wasn't... I knew this fairy. She was on her block there that night. I knew she had a wing, but I thought I thought she you could only see one. So I should have asked Shane in for two. So right now she's got one wing. Um, but it's beautiful. It's going to be really pretty. I, I thought Sherry might take and like have a falling petal off yeah, of something. Yeah, there's it lots of stuff you could do with her. She could actually, you could make a skirt for her too if you were real creative. Mm -hmm. And then this was my version of um, when I thought that I was going to kill myself because I didn't feel well. I thought about making this for my swap because it's really pretty I think too, it's really pretty I like that tone on tone yeah. it's mm -hmm. very pretty and then Shana needed help with her the candy bar which was a 
super fun thing to do. So this was oh, my thank yeah, you gift. Oh, these are cool. Can you see that? Yeah, those are um, some of the new embellishments from the catalog. They almost look like the rivets on your jeans. Yeah, and they're yeah, really they're heavy. Super mm -hmm. cool. They kind of yes. remind me a long time ago we had those vintage buttons. Oh yeah. And when you picked up the package of those, it like the weight of those compared uh -huh. to our other embellishments. It's cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then these are the new, the candy bar went in the striped gold bags, but these are the new copper bags. And then that new ribbon. That is so pretty. It was so much prettier than what it is in the catalog. Yeah, it's so, beautiful so much ribbon. prettier. It's like a candy buffet. Yes. Candy so there was lots of different candies. With lots of Ray Dunn bowls. Mm -hmm. Like. You know, that. if I can have an excuse to pull out my right end, then do it. So we figure we can maybe deduct part of the <laughs> investment that we yeah. have in right So huh. that's the new Let's stuff I have works. to show you for this week. And I hope next week that I feel good and I hope I have find lots of time to stamp. Yeah. Because I've mm -hmm. had lots of new stuff and no time. Mm -hmm. Well, and I've been recuperating from my trip. Okay, these are all the ribbons that are beautiful. I think we've list. we've shown them to you a couple times. Mm -hmm. So in while they were um, off at their meeting, this one I was just kind of playing around with some of the new stamp sets and from Burb Ballad that whole thing. And I really have a hard time figuring out what to do with the little um, doilies. So I kind of like cutting it in half. And what did you punch in to tie the ribbon on? What did you use? I used a half inch. Oh, okay, that looks punch. really cute. Thanks. It's your idea of, you know, tying the ribbon, you know? Oh, it's my idea! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but these little copper, you know, the little leaves, I'm really glad they didn't get rid of those. Yeah, those are really are cool. cute. It's really cute. And then I did, um, I had one little, like, I think it was a four by two swatch of this art paper because I didn't order it in the pre-order. <laughs> so I was like... <laughs> Oh man, I forgot to get that. Well, I got three of the green, whatever the green oh, one yeah, is. Oh yeah, the trellis garden. Tr garden. I don't know. How I that. didn't get any of it. It's funny when you I'll get your pre-order, um, and you're like, because <laughs> I didn't get the peacock refill. I got an, another pad. So I have two pads and no refill. Oh, I know it. It just kind of makes you crazy. So the thing across the bottom is that it does it come? So I cut. This is the die. There's a die that cuts this little lace piece, and it has a strip at the top. And so what I did is I just I cut it out off of the bottom of the card, and then just raised it up and glued it onto the bottom. And then I used the um, what is this called? Oops, what is the color? Terracotta. 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 The terracotta ribbon to go on it. I thought it was kind of cool the way the terracotta goes with the Calypso coral. It's not really, it does not match, but it's kind of... Just a shade darker. Yeah, I really like that. And, and then, the lacy ribbon? Yes. And then I, I think Susan talked about doing this too last week, so I thought, well, I'm going to do what Susan says. So anyway, I just did it like a little sewing you know, it's like you would sew trim on. So, yeah, mm -hmm. so that was fun. And then this was my, um, I use, I think I may have showed you guys this one. Did I show this? No. No, no I think okay. you just sent us a text of it. Um, so this is with the Lighthouse set, and I used, I didn't use the watercolor paper. Brushos. Oh. I used just, and I did, I used, this is on shimmer, um, shimmer paper, and I just used the reinkers and an aqua pen and then um, just kind of played around with the colors trying to get an underwater corally sort of look and then I Susan and I had this whole conversation about jewelry and how the embellishments this time are really jewelry worthy and so mm -hmm. I made some little 4th of July earrings yeah, those are really that cute. are super fun I think I'll do a tutorial I'll on these hang this on your USA cup uh -huh. I have a Ray Dunn USA cup. <laughs> is it red inside? I think it is. I think it is. I'm so excited. But anyway, so these are mine. So that's what I've been doing. So are we going to do some jewelry at any of our upcoming events? I think we should. Yes, I think we should. Because I think we do jewelry really well. And we can do jewelry. And that can, if you don't do jewelry, then you can um, use them for little uh, scissor charms to identify your things. And if we could figure out a way to... Um, attach them to our your pick your tool mm -hmm. or oh yeah is that what it's called yeah a pick tool take your pick yeah take, take your, your pick, pick tool <laughs> I, can, I call it pick, pick your, your something pick your nose pick your belly button <laughs> well, I don't know what we're, gonna, 
maybe when something. you add the little brush or somewhere before you put those things in it, maybe we could put one of those little um, jump ring around it mm -hmm. or something. Yeah. That you could take it yeah. off and then yeah. but you need something to kind of identify it. <laughs> yeah. These babies are fun. I love jewelry. So what do we have upcoming? Do we have any events coming up? Uh, well, Sherry? Do we? I don't know. <laughs> Let's leave it to the sick person. Where's my notes? Here they are. I have some really um, poorly written notes. Poorly written. You guys are so sweet to watch <laughs> us do this because... <laughs> I'm sure you want to come to an event where this is your um, first stage of planning, right? Yep. So, which should we talk about first? I guess the first event. Yes. So, mm -hmm. you, most of you know that Saturday, September 7th, we told you that was our date. And we now have secured our location. Yay. Which that was... That's... If you've never done event planning before, that is... Hi, Heather. It's really hard to plan these events um, because when we go to rent a facility, there's a lot of restrictions on renting a facility. So, and cost-wise, we hate to have the biggest amount of money um, for the day in the cost of, because we want to be able to show product and have product. Um, so that's, it's kind of a hard balance for us. So we found yeah. a venue. So it's going to be in downtown Indy. Mm -hmm. which is nice because it's centrally located and if you're from out of town there'll be lots of places that you can stay mm -hmm. and you can come in the night before and if you've not been to downtown Indy it's beautiful there's lots of fun places to go and to see and to eat um, and it, it's in a if you're familiar with Indy it's in Woodruff Place it's Fountain Square area so it's like legit downtown Indy um, and we're in their old town hall which is like old old I think from the I think it'll be 1800s cool. yeah mm -hmm. So on September 7th, and we will be opening registration up June 1st. And so the first few days, it will be for those of you that attended our first event and for mm -hmm. those of you who are actually in our downlines. So that will be the first five days or so. Yeah. Um, because we have more space than we had last time, but again, it's limited space. Yeah, it's not very big, so we don't want to overbook ourselves right. or anything else. So we're going to open it up to our directs and the people who attended last time. And that'll happen every time we have an event. Right. Mm -hmm. So every time you come to an event, then you'll be in on the, the pre-registration the, pre the next mm -hmm. time. Yeah. So if you're not a demonstrator and you want to come to our events, then you can sign up under any, any of us, us. Um, and get to come that way. And then after that, on June 6th, it will open to everybody and then we'll close it on August 10th. But again, it is on September 7th. And what... One of us will have had sneak peeks at the new holiday catalog because it will be holiday catalog and she'll have seen lots of fun stuff to do with it and she'll have some hot little stuff in her hands, which we all will at that point, but we'll have some pre-planning because somebody's going to Greece mm -hmm. to look at holiday catalog stuff. I know it seems really odd that you're going to be really warm looking at a holiday catalog. <laughs> um, the, also, the fee is going to change. If you're a part of the early bird registration, which is the month of June, you'll save $10 on yep. your registration. So we'll be posting this information um, on this site um, so you can look at it and see. But we'll have um, registration forms and information ready to go by June 1st. Yep. So it's holiday catalog. We're going to do a little bit of all the seasons. Mm -hmm. So, are all of the occasions, like we'll have some fall, we'll have some Thanksgiving, we'll have um, packaging, we'll have Christmas. So, we aren't going to do as many projects as we did last right. time because we can't get in a day early and set up. Mm -hmm. um, cause, yeah. So, we're going to scale back the number of projects and we'll start a little later because we'll need the morning to set up. So, it'll probably be like, we haven't discussed for sure, but more like a 10 to 5 instead of an earlier thing. Yeah. Um, but along the same lines as what we did last time, just fewer projects. Mm -hmm. and Should a be bit shorter. a lot of fun. And then in November for On Stage, we are going to Lansing, Michigan, which um, that's the plan currently. Um, it's about a four hour drive from here. So if you're a demonstrator planning on attending Lansing, um, the On Stage in Lansing, um, which is where Shannon's going to be. Um, so we decided to join her there and then we're planning an event in Lansing which the details will be coming that's not till November um, s registration starts August 20th so before on stage registration starts we'll have our information ready to go yeah. once we again you have to secure a location mm -hmm. um, out of town and we're trying in to a town we don't know that's <laughs> yeah. kind of <laughs> yeah so a we, fun thing we called the hotel this morning um, we're trying to get one of the million dollar sellers to work with us hint hint Mm -hmm. um, 
So we've got some stuff that we're working on, but if you're interested in that, just make sure you join our page. Um, and on my website, I have a separate page that's just for this group. Right now there's nothing on it, so don't go check it out. Um, <laughs> I think it's password protected, and I don't even know the password. Um, but once we start getting information for that, then I can put it there. That way there's a, a place, a place that, that's a not on place. Facebook because I know a lot of people don't do Facebook. That way if you have people that you're going to on stage with that might want to go, yeah, that, um, would be. that way they don't have to be on Facebook because that, that becomes an issue for people. And they could go look at it there. So does anybody have any questions about any of it? We are um, looking forward to the catalog going live June all. 4th, so um, we aren't the friends. only people that are hoarding all oh. the product because we've pretty much had all of the product to ourselves at this point. But nope, nobody well, else has said anything on joining, season thing either. Yeah, thanks so. for joining us. Thanks, Heather, for watching. Yeah, and uh, I'm sure a lot of other people will catch it later on the replay. So well, and it shows us comment numbers, and but not people. You know, <laughs> if we have any, if we have any, if you have any questions, just comment on this thread because then we'll we try to monitor it at least for the first couple of days. Pretty, yeah. pretty attentive to it. Mm. After that, we might, you know. <laughs> get a little lazy but well, you know <laughs> have a great week hopefully you get some sunshine we're hoping for some here we had a couple of warm days and we got a little spoiled and then it got cold and rainy yeah. so tomorrow is supposed to be i think back in the 80s we're at that time of year where it's really cold really hot really cold really hot it's we're in the month of may yep. in indy the race is this weekend yep. so we've got a lot going on so thanks for joining us so we don't know that we'll be back next week i know we're kind of kind it's of cold and especially yeah. in november i know we don't know what's going to happen next week. Again, it's Memorial Week, so have a great weekend. A the good, bit the one good thing about Lansing being cold is that we're going to be inside. That's yeah. true. And Heather, if you want to come, like you could come into Indy and then you could just ride with yeah, us. You can drive with us because our plan is to drive. So ride up with us. Yeah. Then yeah. it's a fun ride. And then we'll, because I'm telling you what, Sherry knows how to find the little <laughs> delicious places to eat. I'm just telling well, you. I have, so, I have friends that Michigan State's their their place so you know Lansing will be easy to navigate to yeah yeah we'll have lots of we'll have to go down to Ann Arbor for a day you know to the <laughs> yeah. tea house and such we'd like yeah. to eat we can come home the long way yeah we can take a long trip home well thanks for joining us have a great week and I think Susan wants to leave I didn't want to leave necessarily <laughs> but she keeps trying to say come on it's time to go I like short videos get to the point move on no sorry see you later have a good one bye, bye. <laughs>